Hello storytellers, welcome back to the channel. Today is a book review. So this book is part of the Rosewood Chronicle series by Connie Glynn. Connie Glynn started out as a sort of online internet celebrity personality. You know, she does Instagram, she does YouTube. Although if you go on her YouTube at the moment, she has actually removed all her content, of which, I mean, Connie Glynn will probably never watch this video. But if she does, oh, I want to watch your Japan vlogs again and Disneyland Paris trips. I was just re-watching them and then you remove them. Okay, that's my wine over. I'm really sorry. Connie Glynn is a phenomenal writer. This is her fourth book, as I may have said. I will insert a picture here of the other books she has written. They are produced in all different languages across the world. Uh, obviously, I read mine in English. And just the artwork is phenomenal. To give you a bit of a lowdown on the book, it's all about the school Rosewood. It's got three houses, which is Conch, Stratus and Ivy. So a little bit like Hogwarts. Yeah, they've all got their own colours. I'll insert a picture here of the houses. Uh, you can go on her website and you can actually do a test to find out what house you're in. I did it recently and apparently I'm in Ivy. I am not mad about that. The only house I was like, I'm definitely not in this conch. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not athletic enough. But I did think I might be Stratus, they're more on like the art sensitive side type, but no, Ivy, not mad. I like the color purple. You can even buy merchandise for your house all on the website as well, which I will leave all the links for that below in the description. But yeah, the three main characters really in this book is Lottie Pumpkin or Charlotte Pumpkin. Ellie Volk and no Wolfson Ellie Wolfson and Jamie Volk I get them not them confused I get their surnames confused all the time uh, so a little low down it's all about your partisans and your portmans what's that you say you don't know what a partisan or a portman is no worries I can explain so a partisan is essentially a very well trained bodyguard uh, but sort of more undercover they are to protect the elite, the royals, of which Ellie is a royal. She is the princess of Mardovia. Mardovia. Yes, so she's the princess of Mardovia. She wants to attend Rosewood School, which is not necessarily what everyone wanted her to do, but she really wanted to go. So she went to Rosewood School with Jamie as her partisan, who she's known since they were kids, they've grown up together, uh, for him to keep an eye on her. Ellie is a bit of a rebel, a bit punk, a bit, you know, a bit tomboy. Yeah, not what you would expect princess to be. When she arrives at Rosewood, she has to share a room with another girl. That girl is Charlotte Pumpkin, who she calls Lottie. Uh, she loves fairy tales, she loves princesses, tiaras, pink, teddies. She's the epitome of what Disney would consider to be a princess. I fit somewhere between the two, I think I'm probably <laughs> heading slightly more towards Lottie. And that, that's the start of the book. Uh, and the irony is, the word gets out that the Princess Moldovia is at Rosewood and everyone assumes it's Lottie. You just assume because of how she is how she dresses and this works for ellie and so she asks her to take her place and act as if she is the princess of mardova and to do that that makes her officially hired by the royal family and that makes her a portman so a portman is someone who will act as a royal or political figure or celebrity in place of them until they're ready to come out of their own and this works for them and that's basically where the whole story goes it then goes into uh they're a cult i suppose called the Latvian, and you know they're they're taking partisans away from their royals and training them and they're trying to kidnap princess mardovia it, it's got a lot there's a bit of martial arts there's a bit of history there's mystery they have to you know figure out who they are in their histories that's that's the start of the book like i said this is book four so we've, we've been a while since that beginning and basically they have continued to try and 
defeat, track down the Lepian. I hope I'm saying that right, Lepian. I will include the word here. I'm dyslexic, I struggle with these things. Um, and basically in this one, it's written like they're at school, they're in sort of their mid-teens. And so, yeah, they're, they're all kind of in a juxtaposition where they, they don't necessarily talk to each other anymore. They are friends, but they're, they're struck the situation they're, they're struggling with. And so one person wants to do this way, one person wants to do another way, one person doesn't want to talk. And it basically involves a lot of secrets, shushes, and yeah. It's sad to see because they work so well together in the first book, the three main characters and their friends, because they've got friends in all different houses. Yeah, I, I, I get why Coddy's done that. You need to see a bit of character growth. And they're at that age where those kind of things are likely to happen. However, in this book, not a lot happens in quite a large book. It feels a little bit like filler. I don't know if that's because I personally don't like the kind of teen romance thing, and that's very much started going on the book. If you are part of the LGBTQ community or you're a supporter of that, there are some amazing characters in this. Connie has done a brilliant job of representing pretty much as much as she can from that community. You've got a gay couple who are female, you've got a gay couple who are male. And one of the guys who's in the gay couple's male, he's also deaf and speaks sign language, he's called Percy. He's actually one of my favourite characters because he's just... He doesn't have time to waffle, so he, he says it as it is. He's brilliant. But he's also really sensitive, he's just got a really nice balance. So she has done a really good job with those characters and all of the characters in this book are actually really well-rounded, thought through. They've, they've got distinct personalities and identities so they don't kind of blend into one. Even though they're from different houses and they should all have similarities with their house, it's actually really interesting to see that, yes, they do, but they're also very different. For example, Lottie and Ellie, both in Ivy, could not get more different. But yeah, the, the romance, particularly involving the three characters, I'm not a fan of it, but I can see why it's going in that route. It's led for a, you know, a wider story. It's just not my cup of tea. It did feel like, what happened in this book could have happened a lot, a lot, lot quicker. The start to the end, not a lot happens. That's the honest truth. However, the end of this book has set up the fifth book impeccably well. I cannot express to you how well the end of this book is setting us up for the fifth book. I'm so excited for it because it's going to be like a giant bomb's gone off for all of them in different ways, and oh, I just, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready for book five. So out of the series, this is my least favorite book. Sorry, Connie. But there's always one that's like your least favorite. Same film series and book series, there's always one. That by no means says it's a bad book. I am incredibly happy I read it. And I'm glad that, you know, I've got to see a year where actually they kind of struggled to get on and everyone's doing different things and reacting different and you know secrets are coming out so that was nice to see it did just take a really long time it felt like a really long read i actually read it in two sittings because after 100 pages i just couldn't for a while i took two days off and came back to it so my overall rating of this book seven out of ten it's a 7 out of 10. The first book for me was a 10 out of 10. I adore it. I would happily read that book again and again and again. I love the first book. The second and third book are more like an 8 out of 10. But the story was continuous. The characters were continuous. Like I said, this one is more a 7 just because it... It didn't really do anything. <laughs> they, could have, they could have cut this book and gone straight to the 5th other than the, the ending, and you would, have been, you would have been caught up. Yeah, so that is The Rosewood Chronicles. I highly recommend it as a read. I adore this book. I adore the series. And 
bring on book five. Like I said, I know Connie Glynn's finished writing draft one of episode five. I believe I said that. I have, I have literally a brain of butter at all times. <laughs> but yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would be really appreciated. I'm trying to push and promote this as much as possible. Fingers crossed, soon I'll be able to take you around on some park adventures, maybe some theme parks. I do know that I've already got a small in the UK day out planned. Keep an eye out. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.